Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Bullpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, a version point B. We're having a little bit of a rough go of it. Don't think there's zombie evolution in this version of the game. I think they just start able to beat your ass. <laughs> oh no, I said... A bad word within the first 10 seconds of the video. I'm demonetized. No. No, it's 30 seconds in. We should be okay, right? Surely. Hmm. We kind of need more food, I guess. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Our character is not gonna like eating the can of beans or sardines with the food. Kind of going through a lot of food. Okay. Um. Grocery store? Grocery store. We've got the revolver now, so. Ooh, can we turn our bat into a nail bat? With our current technology. Nails. Surely y'all got some of them nails. There we go. Craft a nail bat for memory. Puts in our inventory, which is good. Thinking like point F that started putting on a table next to you or something. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Nail bat. That is cold. We're supposed to have a coat, but I don't, I don't know if it's working. We can't build like a cotton hat or a knit hat yet. Alright, we want to avoid the fungal tower. We can eventually go to this power substation to kill electrician zombies and get their CBMs. There's a fucking Uzi. Okay, apparently random NPCs was a bad idea. Yes, the dog is one of the most scared. Ooh. Ah, shit. That's Amigo. Metal wreckage. What is this? This looks like military items to me. Hello, sir. Go take care of that Amigo for me, please. He did it. I hate that he has an Uzi, though. <laughs> an Uzi's way too much firepower for him. Maybe he'll run out of ammo. I kind of want to check those bodies, but... Talk should leave us alone, even with Animal Discord. Honestly, wants to talk to me. Kind of hoping he would get in fights with more things. I don't know how much ammo he has left. That's Rattle's name. Okay, let's do that. These dogs are going to fight. Hold on. Gotta switch to nail bat. The dogs are going to bump into each other and then they're going to get angry at me. The dog misses the dog. Eventually they won't miss. And then they'll take it out on me. They might already be aggroing me. Oh, well, maybe not. I let the zombie fight them? Oh, I'm surprised the zombie didn't try to fight them. No, do not pick the underbrush. Wind is making my head feel cold. Apparently, the winter coat is not working. Park garage. Garages can have working cars in them. Unfortunately, no door, no 
no side door to the uh oh fuck that's too many zombies never mind we're not going to the grocery store get in the garage maybe and look for a working vehicle to regular zombies here I could probably fight regular zombies I could try to leer ooh there's a skeleton dog oh he's out of ammo because he's trying to fight that snake and it's not working for him he's gonna get his ass beat by a zombie child that's funny And he's dead. Goodbye, not friend. He said he just wanted to talk, but you never know what the NPCs in this game. He could have easily wanted to just uh, steal all my stuff. Lab coat, safety glasses. Your science 301. It's unfortunate that these are scientist zombies. Not really going to find much good here. Dogs are gonna bother us constantly. The dead Migo. Chop it off and get its chop it up and get its chitin. It's about to be dark, I might be able to do some night mission shenanigans. to the best of our ability with what we've got here. I guess we don't have any dodge skill yet, which is why we're getting hit fairly often. Soldering irons. A bit odd. Where are these flowers, by the way? Natura. Well, zombies are fast, so I don't know if I can. I was going to try to maybe kite it, but because it's fast, it can catch up faster. Oop, I didn't want the child's corpse. It's kind of messed up. Oh, do we have better night now? Eh, no, maybe not. The dead man. Uzi. A right helmet. Ooh. More than his clothing. Sorry, Jared Floss. It was either you or me. The way I saw it, might as well be you. Scarf after the helmet. All right. Didn't warm up our head, though. <laughs> Not enough, at least. Still have storage capacity. Museum is interesting because it could have like a a really good like flanged mace or something. Doing a full save. No, that save's coming, it saves coming. Well guess what? Quick saving is part of the base game nowadays. Well, that's clearly what they intend. Oh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> they're def they definitely didn't improve darkness. Should have picked stealth traits, man. Oh, there's an alarm. That 
That's not good. We'll just hang out in the back a bit. There we go. Morning star. Medieval weapon. Does not say that this is fake. It's not really any better though. I think it's worse. It has hammering quality, which is interesting, but it's less likely to hit and only does two more damage and it's slower. That's a bit disappointing. Paper cartridges. <laughs> a Chris dagger. Oh my god, it sucks. Okay, it's a replica. Oh Yori. Ornamental suit of armor. Torso arms, the legs, the hands. Ornamental isn't, like, necessarily the worst, though. There is, like, some exceptions. Like, this does have decent protection. Not great coverage. Twice was good protection stats though for the then the winter coat. Hmm. We might need it just to get out of here. Okay, I can drop the winter coat, that's good. Uh let's see. I don't know why I'm saving quitting. <laughs> Let's just kind of attempt to burn some time here. Hopefully the zombies will go away. Because there's no other way out of the building other than the front door. I'm not sure if we're actually progressing time. We should be. Bandage on our hurt leg here, too. Let's hope we can get out of here. I'm also going to check some of this other stuff. Paper cartridge, flintlock pistol. Don't think so. Oh, boy. Oh, another alarm. Shit. there would be two alarms. Yes, yes, I want to just get out of here. Okay, that didn't go as well as planned. Safe mode back on. <laughs> Maybe that pulled some stuff away from being over here. I want to look inside this garage. Oh, that's a skeleton dog. Pretty fast. I would like to find a bush. Lost track of me pretty easily, though. See, nighttime's pretty strong. It's just really not fun to look at. <laughs> it looks incredibly ugly. I can't believe I would play the game this way, though. Ooh, that's going to be really loud. There should be an actual door. There we go. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Broken console. Okay. Welding goggles. This would, uh... Looks like the heavy steel frame is not an anvil, which kind of sucks. Do we need the welding goggles just to bring them home? I don't know if the metal working chisel does anything in this build of the game. Later, it can. Large electric motor. Ooh, steel jerry cans, very nice. Have a hacksaw. A whole engine. Charging station.
Do you need a jack? Be able to work on cars. Okay. We should probably go back home just because of how long it's going to take to get home. Is safe mode on? It is now. Man, it's so scary. <laughs> Not being able to see anything. Ooh, I walked into something. Apparently it wasn't a hostile enemy because it didn't pause the game. Flurries. That's our head's chilly. We just still haven't found a hat. <laughs> no, we found a riot helmet, but we need... But... Oh, it came back to life because it wasn't pulped. Did it walk back into the fire? It did. So it's dead again. Okay, I can smash it now. It does suck that burning the body doesn't pulp it. What's that? Giant fly. Okay. Let's drop what we got. We're gonna have to get the blanket out of the basement and we're gonna have to sleep on one of these counters. The bench is probably better. Okay. Uh, computer chairs collapsing everything in my house is breaking lately and uh starting to be a problem <laughs> i don't have a money enough money to fix it all at the same time it would have been nice if it wouldn't have uh not all broken at the same time but maybe that's just me maybe that's a personal problem Two way radios. I'll go ahead and take your batteries. If in you don't mind. One there and one in the regular pile. Winter coat. Save it for a wintry day. Hey glasses, leather gloves. Ooh, it's leather gloves we might want to wear. They don't fit though. Uh, I guess our regular gloves don't fit either. To be determined. Shortened barrel. So I'll put the seeds with the food. Diana here. Another gloves. kind of remember this that like for some reason gloves don't fit which is weird they are only warmer and only add encumberment that's weird feels like a mistake must be point C where those are better because the leather gloves used to be just better than a lot of gloves for defense we are sleepy let's go get our lane kit Bench isn't fantastic to sleep on, but it's what we've got. I'm gonna sleep like over here. Make sure these doors and windows are closed. Obviously, I broke a couple. All right. Sure, I want to sleep. No. I need to change the setting so that it asks us to uh, save on sleep. It might not. Looks like it's not here. I feel like it used to be here. Oh, there it is. Yes, save the game before sleeping. I feel where was did I wake up? So we went full circle. In point A, it was taking way too long to sleep, and then 
B, it's like instant. It's a little dark outside, man. All right. Need a blanket to keep warm. Guess we slept okay. Or did get like real food? We need to make a fireplace so I can put food. Not be able to finish it all. Should be fine. It's the other one. Yeah, I don't have enough food. I just have drink. I'll go outside and look for rocks, but it's dark. Let's just read something for a little bit. Um. This one should be pretty simple, pitching a tent. <laughs> my survival skill to three. Where's mine at? Probably zero. Yep. Yes. It's good enough. Snowing, it's not raining though. It's still just our head, man. We're gonna have to grind our tailoring skill, I think. Uh there used to be like a specific thing I would craft to crank up our tailoring skill. Oh man, my sewing kit and stuff. Actually, we need to move all this stuff to the other side. Ideally. All of our crafting stuff is in one place. So I had some food over here. I did not realize. Okay, put the sheet there to butcher it. Not that it can be butchered in this version of the game. Not on the ground, at least. Okay. Fact, let's do that now. I wonder if we can activate the cutting while we're standing on it. No. It's annoying, man. I don't want to pick up cheats to cut them. One of the things I forgot was even a thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're hungry too. We gotta get back in town and get food. All right, we need like the highest level tailoring difficulty here. It looks like it's gonna be level one, and then we need the thing that's gonna be the least cost. What's our experience just before we do it? 22? Eight rags is pretty good. Five rags is good. Four rags is, yeah, no, those are, or no, they're difficulty one. Two rags. It's level zero though. So light gloves for four rags. That gave us 11%. Hey, level two. Man, we can't butcher them all. item, pocket knife, cut up, white gloves, pocket knife, cut up. It's okay, 
that give us experience? No. A bit unfortunate. Bashing weapons and melee are going to get up. I should have given myself points on dodge. That's one problem we're dealing with here. Okay. Agree. Can I make some kind of hat? Cotton hat. There we go. It's 20 warmth. It layers easily. No. Come on, man. Get it made. Dude, make it. I can't see. Why? Oh, it's a lightning storm. Christ. Well, I'm going to have to move closer to the computer, aren't I? Oh, maybe not. Well, I did, but I thought I was going to have to move all my gear closer. All right. Sure failed that cotton hat a lot. Uh... Not having bonus encumbrance, so I guess it's fine like this. I don't know if we want to go out there in a lightning storm. We're gonna starve, I think, so I think we've got to. So under some of the most nutrition value we can get out of just a drink. Three. Oh, we have graham crackers. Go ahead and eat those. It's junk food, but tis food at least. Not force myself to eat. Now we're glad that we have outdoorsmen because we're about to have to go out there. Okay. Um. What the fuck? There's are so many NPCs, man. It's a little bit out of control. Yeah, look at that. Way too many. I don't know if we can turn the setting off now that we're in. Hold on, world. No, I can only reset it. We can't set, like, the... It's just monsters. No NPC setting. Definitely too many random NPCs. I don't know if that's going to fix it, though. That's, that's like, world default settings. And since our world's already generated, I don't think it'll help. Okay. I'll have to board up one of these windows, too. If not both of them. Try to get to the grocery store. It's cold. Arms, arms and head. Arms are not so bad. I can make the arm warmers. Head's bad though. Nope, I almost stepped on a rattlesnake. That probably wouldn't have gone well. Nice thing about all these NPCs is I can use them to just tank the zombies for me. Oh, that's a full-on skeletal dog from before. Oh god, I stepped on the bush. I was trying to get him into it, but it didn't work. Die. Jesus Christ. That dog just... Destroyed me. Eh, not as bad as I thought. I thought it was like dead. I'm infected. I'm gonna have to cauterize this wound with no medicine. No painkillers. I don't think it actually like bothers you that much though. Yeah, like the pain isn't even registered. Maybe we're in shock from the pain, but... <laughs> Alright. Grocery store, please. Oh, yeah. The grocery store was the one that had a buttload of... Yeah, crap. Too many zombies to deal with. I shouldn't have taken bad knees. It's one mistake of where you step, and you're dead. You gotta stop hitting me. I really should have given myself, uh level of dodge, huh? I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Or 
for those. It's an iBot. I didn't do anything, iBot. Leave me be. earlier. It's been a while. It's been a while. Statue of limitations, bro. It's gonna have to break. Oh, hello, zombie. I didn't know existed until half a second ago. You guys gotta stop destroying my gear. Boots. Ugh. Ooh, what's that? Spiked bleeding. Okay. All about swords. That sounds good. Yes. Uh, hey, a ring or umbrella actually is probably what we want to use here. Your mittens. This ring coat that fits. It's worn over clothing, but so is my armor, so. It does hold a lot of stuff, though, surprisingly. Do have some modifiers to being cold. A fur hat will warm my head up, but it's gonna warm it up too much, I think. Oh well, drop the cotton hat. Wear the fur hat. It's still warm. Oh, I can't wear it over. Crap. Hey, a wristwatch. I think that's slotless, right? Yeah. Our arms were getting warm. I think we have arm sleeves at home, actually, and I just kind of forgot about them. Now that I think about it. Napashads. Not necessary. Ooh, glove liners. And we have, uh, the o Ori actually covers our hands. We should probably still grab this. Ooh, we should switch. Umbrella for telescoping. <laughs> Those are really warm. I think they can be worn over like the cotton hat. Nice. There we go. Now our cold issue should be done. Golf club if we wanted to go full Andrew Ryan mode. Oh, we are out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.